The Nintendo Switch is selling faster than Nintendo can make them, and there's a good reason for that. It's a brilliant game console with a growing library of incredible games. Despite how great this shiny new console is, it's not perfect. So before we dive in, please give us a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our videos. Okay, without further ado, let's take a look at 5 things you wish the Nintendo Switch could do. Number 1. Access More Streaming Services the Nintendo Switch has been out a while, but if you're looking to do something on it aside from playing games, you'll probably come up empty-handed. Fans cheered when Hulu finally released the Switch app, but Hulu is alone among its streaming competition. Major competitors like HBO, Netflix, Amazon, YouTube, Spotify, and Pandora all have yet to support Nintendo's latest console, and that's a shame because the Switch would be an ideal platform for watching videos or streaming music. Just think, you could start watching the new episode of Game of Thrones on your TV and continue on the bus on your way to work. Just make sure it's not the Red Wedding episode. I still have nightmares. The Switch's built-in screen is beautiful and much bigger than the screens on most phones. If the Switch had more apps, you could leave your bulky tablet at home when you leave the house. But right now, those apps simply don't exist. Maybe streaming services like HBO and Netflix are working on Switch apps as we speak. But for now, the Switch is largely good for one thing and one thing only, playing games. That's not the worst thing you could say about a game console, but it's still a little disappointing. Number 2. Run Full PS4 Xbox One Ports Nintendo had to make certain compromises to get the Switch down to a portable size. The type of powerful computing components that come in the PS4 and Xbox One would cost a fortune if you shrunk them down into a handheld system, so it's no surprise AAA multi-platform games look considerably better on PS4 and Xbox One than they do on the Switch. Games like Doom and Skyrim play great on Switch, but you don't need a microscope to notice their graphics are lower res. It'd be a lot to ask, but wouldn't it be great if games look just as good on the Switch as they do on the PS4? Wouldn't it be wonderful if the Switch let you take Xbox One caliber games with you on the go? Tis only but a dream. If the Switch were more powerful, it would pave the way for Switch versions of games we'll probably never see on the platform. Games like Assassin's Creed Origins and Call of Duty World War II could be playable anywhere you happen to be. The Switch may have exciting and unique features, but there's no getting around the fact that it packs less power than its competitors. It's something Switch owners will just have to learn to live with. Number 3. Offer Full Featured Multiplayer as amazing as Nintendo's games and hardware often are, it's mind-boggling how bad the company is at the online side of things. Get your stuff together, Nintendo. Over at PS4 and Xbox One, you have a full suite of online features. You have a friends list that acts more or less like your Facebook friends list. It's easy to manage. It's no problem to add and remove friends. The list exists outside of specific games, so whenever you and a friend are playing the same game online, you can join up to play. It's simple and intuitive. Now if they could only get me more friends. On Switch, just like on previous Nintendo systems, things are a lot more complicated. Instead of having an independent friends list, you have to manually add friends for each game, and doing so isn't as easy as searching for their username. Instead, each player gets a different friend code for each game they play. To add a friend, you have to ask your friend for their unique code and type it in. And don't even get us started on the state of voice chat. It all adds several pointless layers of complication onto features Microsoft and Sony solved years ago. Why can't Nintendo get with the times? Number 4. Capture Video of Every Game We live in the golden age of social media, so when we do something awesome in a game, we want to be able to share it online, along with photos of my cat and pictures of my lunch. Anyone interested? On PS4 and Xbox One, you can. All you have to do is tap a button or two, and your console will send a video of your accomplishment to Facebook, YouTube, or the platform of your choice. If you're playing on Switch, though, you probably won't be able to do that. The Switch launched without any ability to capture video at all. An update in October lets you capture 30 seconds of gameplay, but only in four specific games. Since then, a few more games have launched with video capturing ability, and others had it added in an update. Even so, it's hard to keep track of which Switch games can capture video. And even in the ones that can, you're trying to gloat about your latest accomplishment. 30 seconds isn't always enough. If you really want to share your amazing feats in all your Switch games, you still need a video capture card. The worst part is you probably won't have it on hand when you're playing on the go. Number 5. Play Virtual Console Games No video game company has made as many game consoles with as many classic games as Nintendo. From Mario to Zelda to Castlevania to Kirby, Nintendo systems have been home to some of the best games ever made. To keep these games available, previous Nintendo consoles have offered a digital platform called the Virtual Console, where players can buy these phenomenal games for a few bucks apiece and play them on current hardware. But when the Nintendo Switch came out, the Virtual Console was nowhere to be found. Hello? Nintendo hasn't made a peep about its plans to release classic games on the Switch. Will we ever get to play The Legend of Zelda or Karina of Time or Super Metroid on this thing? 
Better yet, since the Switch is powerful enough to play GameCube games, it opens up the possibility to play games that haven't been available since the early 2000s. Games like Metroid Prime, Animal Crossing, and Super Mario Sunshine would be incredible to play on the Switch. As for now, though, it remains a pipe dream, and fans of Nintendo's illustrious past will have to wait. When, or even if, these classic games will ever come to the Switch remains to be seen. Then again, once you start playing the fantastic games available on the Switch, all these problems tend to fade away, don't they? Nintendo hasn't been on fire like this in a long time, so it's great to see Nintendo putting up a fight again. Is there anything you wish the Nintendo Switch could do? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe to The Gamer and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our great video content. Thanks for watching.